Let's take an example of someone who has a fear of having a panic attack while flying. Mark is a businessman for a Fortune 500 company. His work requires him to travel several times each year to his company's head office, which is a two-hour flight from his city. He's 35 years of age and never had a problem flying until he experienced his first panic attack five years ago. Even though the panic attack occurred in a restaurant, he developed a fear that it may happen again. This fear is particularly strong while flying. You will see here his first flight after having learned the one move technique. As the cabin crew prepare the doors for departure, anxious thoughts flash in front of Mark's mind. He has a tendency to imagine all kinds of medical problems he might have 30,000 feet in the air. His predominant fear is that his nervousness will escalate to a severe panic attack and he will not be able to control himself. To quiet those fears, he reminds himself that he has learnt a new approach and he has determined that this flight will be different. This time, instead of nervously anticipating the worst, he turns his attention inwardly and tells his body that he is open and willing to embrace any bodily sensations that might manifest during the flight. This approach is new and freeing because it allows his body permission to experience different sensations without him overreacting. He reminds himself that it is perfectly normal to feel excited in an aeroplane, so it's fine to feel heightened bodily sensations and to feel slightly nervous. As the plane lifts off, Mark feels a flash of panic through his stomach and chest. His heart suddenly beats fast and his throat and chest muscles tense or tingling with pins and needles. That's fine, that doesn't worry me. Let's have more of that and make it more intense right now. Like an orchestra conductor, he is allowing the symphony of sensations and emotions to play themselves out in his body and mind. By doing this, he allows the sensations to be present without getting fearful. Not only is he allowing them to be present, but most crucially of all, he is in fact demanding that some of them get worse. This is a new position of power he's placing himself in. Before, he was doing everything he could to block the sensations out. Now he is giving them freedom to be, and by doing so, he flows with the experience instead of against it. All his body really wanted to do was express his anxiety about flying physically. By giving his body full permission to do so, he does not create any additional stress or psychological friction. Within a few minutes, Mark's body is returning to normal, and he feels a sense of release. He has processed his fear without it escalating to a higher level and avoids a state of panic. This also makes him feel emotional as he is processing the fear that has held him back in the past. He can now sit back and enjoy the rest of the flight.